Recently, I was talking to a guy, let's say romantically. He said and did some real asshole things. Telling the story to a friend of mine and she told me that if I had created better boundaries with him, that would have never happened. While I appreciate her advice and also her willingness to be so open and honest with me and telling me that maybe it was something that I did wrong, I also couldn't disagree with her any more than I do. I don't believe that creating an extra boundary with him would have helped the issue. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and I help people create a life that looks good on the outside, but more importantly, feels good on the inside. I think that we have become obsessed with boundaries. While the boundaries are meant to maybe make our lives easier, maybe make our relationships better. <laughs> they have done nothing but hurt us, in my opinion. And I don't believe that if I created an, an extra boundary with this young man, that he would have been less of an asshole. I believe that he was an asshole. I knew he was an asshole from the beginning. And I didn't create a boundary with myself. If I had created a boundary with myself and acknowledged this guy's an asshole, it's not gonna go anywhere with him, I wouldn't have ended up in a place where he was being an asshole to me. I didn't need to create a boundary with him, I needed to respect the boundary with myself. And this is where I think that we have gotten boundaries completely messed up. We think that we need to create a boundary with every single person we meet and it becomes so stressful, it becomes so extra and then we're telling people, you're not respecting my boundary, I need you to honor my boundary. Are they not respecting your boundary or are you not respecting your boundary? I think that we need to stop creating boundaries with everyone in our lives and we just need to create boundaries with ourselves. If we just honor what we know intuitively, what we know to be fact, like I knew this guy was an asshole. I expected him to not be an asshole with me. And that's a really shitty boundary that I had with myself. It wasn't that he disrespected my boundary by being an asshole to me. He did exactly what he was capable of. I think that at some point we put up all these boundaries and then they become walls and it becomes impossible for people to get in. Everyone operates differently. So I don't need to create boundaries with every individual person. I just need to create boundaries with myself. And if I'm able to create boundaries with myself to know that this, if this person gives you this sort of a feeling or if you know this thing about this person, don't engage with them. If I had respected the boundary within myself, I wouldn't have ended up in a situation where I'm like, oh my God, this guy is an asshole. So it goes back to the video I made a few weeks ago called, I don't know who needs to hear this, but whatever you're going through, it's all your fault. When we put up boundaries and we say people are disrespecting our boundaries, that's giving them a lot of power to hurt or harm us. If we create boundaries with ourselves and we honor and respect the boundaries that we create with ourselves, we don't have to worry about people crossing our boundaries. If I set and honored a boundary with myself, he wouldn't have been able to cross it because I wouldn't have been engaging with him at all. Setting boundaries with ourselves also takes a lot of pressure and a lot of extra mental work that we need to go through to try and decide who is this person, what boundary do I need to set with them. You don't need to set a boundary with that person, you need to set a boundary with yourself. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Jackie and I help people create a life that looks good on the outside, but more importantly, feels good on the inside. I make new videos every Monday and Friday, so don't forget to click subscribe and I will see you at the beginning of next week.